Numerous tales have been told about a collective of verdant trees that surround a very small pond-like body of water called Butat. These tales hail from a small barrio in Pinamungahan town called Kambo. The citizens of Kambo are peaceful people who are mostly builders and corn farmers. One among the corn farmers in Kambo is Mang Timo. He is very kind and hardworking besides being a loving father to his beautiful daughter, Marcelina. Mang Timo raised Marcelina on his own since his wife died after giving birth to her. One cloudy afternoon, Mang Timo, together with his eager carabao, worked to plow the marshy fields. He was set to plant corn. To his surprise, his carabao jolted and changed course. He tried to redirect it back to the plot lines, but it went straight to the putat. He was so lucky the carabao did not cause damage to the trees, or it would have been the end of him. Mang Timo immediately said, Tabi, Tabi, I'm terribly sorry. I do not intend to harm your abode. He was referring to the Putat as home to the Encanto, a place no human should tamper with. That same day, Ato Encanto was enjoying his daily afternoon habit, fishing. As guardian of the Fey world, Atong spent most of his time fishing at the core of the Putat where a huge magical pond was located. However, that pond is very small and ordinary to the human eye. Sensing the commotion outside the putat, Atong immediately came to check what might have caused it. He heard Timo's plea. He was ready to forgive him to return to his fishing routine immediately when he laid eyes on Marcelina. Marcelina saw what happened to her father. She rushed to his aid as fast as she could. Atong saw an opportunity and told Timo that he would only be forgiven if he offered his daughter. But Timo said no and brought Marcelina back home to their kubo. But Atong remained eager to get Marcelina, so he cursed Timo with an inexplicable illness. Marcelina, on the other hand, was saddened by what had befallen on her tatai. Atong then transformed into a white goose to put a smile into Marcelina's face. She was so delighted and bewitched by the goose that she chased it until she got inside a putat. Timo waited for Marcelina to come home for supper, but she never came. The next day, though still groggy from illness, he went to look for her. One of the neighbors said he saw Marcelina chasing a goose towards the putat. Upon hearing such, he became so worried and rushed to the Verdant Collective. He pleaded, Tabi, Tabi, please give me back my daughter. Please, I am so sorry. You can take me instead. Atong appeared and told Timo that the only way he could be forgiven is if someone like Marcelina could stay with him to repair the damages his carabao was done to the walls of the Fey world. Timo offered his services instead as it was all his fault, but Atong had made up his mind. The old man said yes in the end, but he gave a condition that Marcelina be allowed to come home with him to prepare for her journey. Atong agreed. When the day came for Marcelina to enter the putat and leave his tatai, she was surprised that she couldn't find him anywhere. Before Marcelina awakened, Timo himself went inside the putat and fought Atong. The commotion brought attention to the royal face. The king asked the magical pawn to show him the truth and it immediately revealed Atong's misdeeds. He was incarcerated at once. Unfortunately for Timo, he could never return to the human world as was the rule of the Fey world. He pleaded once more that he be forgiven for the inconvenience his actions had brought to them. He also begged that his daughter Marcelina be spared as she was only tricked by Atong into getting inside the putat. Mang Timo sincerely surrendered himself to them. The king was pleased, agreed to Timo's plea and made him the new portal guardian. With his new responsibilities, Timo may not be with his beloved daughter for eternity, but he will be able to continue watching over her from the putat.